Hello, my name is Robert Morrison and I'm a product manager here at Pasco Scientific. In front of me is our brand new Ripple Tank system and it's my privilege today to get to show that to you. As you can see it comes in a wonderful containment box. When you open that box you will see a nice layout of foam and parts so that you can easily get the system out and get it up and running. This is a common, this is a new to the system, it's a combination screen and mirror which is a, an upgrade from our earlier system. You come with a uh, container for water, accessory kit, the new LED light source, very nice, very compact, the rippler and generator for the light source, power supply, as you can see it's all nicely laid out in a cutout foam here, this is the rod for mounting the system together, putting the system together, we're going to take the first tray out, as you can see, the rest of the system sits right underneath it. I have three legs, a clear scale for using inside the system once we get it put together, and the ripple tank itself. As you can see, from our, if you're familiar with our older systems, this is a nice one-piece apparatus as opposed to the two pieces that we used to have to deal with. So I'm going to go ahead and move our box out of the way, which has our manual in it still. The tank itself is very easy to work with much lighter than the older system. I'm going to go ahead and put the legs into place. We're using three legs this time. We found that with four legs it's actually a little bit harder to balance and to level the system. But with three legs it's very easy. So they go right into place here at the bottom. While we have it upside down, as you can see I have a uh, spigot here that's been set up to uh, drain the tank. This is also an upgrade from our older system. We used to have a uh, hole that simply actually was placed in the glass and we found that um, although we did put a lip on that that it was um, much easier to drain the tank if you have a tube attached. And I'm just going to set this last leg into place and we'll get the tank turned over and put together the rest of the system. As you can see, nice, firm, easy to balance, easy to level. There you go. Once the tank's in place, I'm going to take the rod, I'm going to put it into the hole that it's designed for. And this is also an upgrade from our earlier system. Uh, previously you'd have to have both the light source and the rippler attached separately or on a separate rod stand. Um, because we're using electronics this time instead of a mechanical system, we're able to actually mount the light source right to the tank. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the light source. As you can see, all the clamping is attached and part, uh, integral part of the system, so it's very easy to put together. Now I'm going to need a rod stand to go with the Rippler here, and fortunately I do have one. Now this rod stand is a little bit overkill for what we're doing today, but it does get the point across. I'm going to mount the Rippler separately. Now you generally want to mount the Rippler separately anyway because you don't want it interfering with the tank. As you can see, it's very easy to place, and we could actually use a much smaller rod stand. Got my dippers, got my thing. I want to be able to see what's going on, so I'm going to go ahead and add the screen and the mirror. As I said before, it's a one piece net now, and it is much more integrated. I have little hooks actually integrated into the system that hold the mirror in place, so it's very easy to see where that goes. And once again, we're going to use Velcro on the front here to put the screen in place. But now I've got a piece of plastic down here that actually runs the full length, so everything's nicely integrated. And here we see a weight pattern generated by the ripple tank. No rundown of the ripple tank would be complete without taking a look at a few of its special features, such as the one-piece screen and mirror set. The optics kit includes several components, including dippers, dippers of different sizes, a dropper for doing individual ripples, a prism, a concave lens, a convex lens, reflectors of different sizes that can also be arranged for doing slit experiments, a curve reflector, a plane wave generator, or you can connect the individual dippers and compare multiple point sources to the plane wave. And to mitigate unwanted surface tension, a little additional glycerin. The one-piece tank with spigot for draining. The LCD light source. And last but not least, the all-new Ripple Generator that includes controls for the light source.
This unique device lets you control the frequency, the amplitude, your light source, and fine adjust the position of your dippers. Thank you for your time. If you'd like to know more information about the Ripple Tank or other Pasco physics products, please go to our website at www.pasco.com or email us at physics at pasco.com. Thank you.